Marching Band Review. Yo, what's up? Back for the second annual Marching Band Review. And you know, honestly, it was an interesting season. Some wacky things happened, and some good things happened. Let's get into it, okay? So the Marching Band year started off with, you know, a lot of interesting choices, all right? Were they good? Were they bad? I guess we'll just have to find out. Many things were changing in the marching band ecosystem, with half of the band being new to the marching band. And that's crazy. Like, over half of the people were um, new, like first years, including our assistant drum major. Uh, so... It was even more surprising when we got first place in like in not well the first competition it was a home competition which is unranked but we got the highest score in our class then every consecutive um competition except for the last two we got first place what happened in the last two was that for region 10 championships we got second place and then for states we got seventh and not only that but we dropped down points from region 10 to states now why did that happen uh well it's pretty obvious why when you have your first run through of the show being anything the, the first run through of anything before any practice well any real practice it's gonna be bad and that's exactly what happened you know, not only was it the first run through of the show of which we performed for the performance, it was also no full practice into that. So the first time of that day that we did a full thing of that show, it was the competition. So no wonder we're going to do bad. But still getting an 85 for a first run through, I'd say that's pretty good. But I can't help but think that it was a little silly that the director didn't have us, you know, do a run through at home. Yeah, it would have sucked to get up at 6 a.m., but at the same time, we needed it. And I truly believe that we could have gotten a 90 point score if that wasn't our first run through the show. It was quite a shame to see. Speaking of run-throughs of the show, here is the announcer of the show, well, of the home competition, Danny Duda, and the head trombonist of the Jefferson Township Golden Falcons Marching Band, in the flesh. Marching Band Review. Go. Hi, you're here with the voice of the Jefferson Township High School Golden Falcons Marching Band and Christopher Dunn, the trombonist of the, the Jefferson, Jefferson Township, Township High, School High School Golden, Golden Falcons, Falcons Marching, Marching Band. Band. Yo, so, so what did you think of the season? Well, you were there for the home comp. You were there for the beginnings, the, the, the first Home part comp the looks really good, actually. Not gonna lie. I'm glad you from, think so. From my experience, from, eagle eye view. from my minimal experience, the marching band, um, not as good as Sparta, you could cut that, um, but pretty good, pretty entertaining. I, I enjoyed. How did you feel as a performer? Uh, as a performer, I felt that, um, considering it was so early on in the season that we did really well at our home comp, uh, we beat all of the other groups in our section, even though we were exhibition class, because you don't There were only two, but still. You can only, you can't compete at your home comp, because you don't want to, you don't want to come first in your own division. That just looks like, it's rude. It's rude. You want to be curious. We want to be curious. We, won't, we don't compete, right? But, it, 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 we started off with a great start. Um, I don't know what else to say it. It was, obviously, obviously it wasn't as good as some of the later runs, but... It was the beginning of the season, and considering that, I thought it was pretty good. Okay. Hey, Nick Roberts, <clears throat> how do you feel about your home comp for uh, marching band? Wait, first give us some claps. Marching band review. All right, so how do you feel about your first home competition? Okay, my first home competition, honestly, it went all right. 
you know, it was pretty bare compared to like what it could have been. But you know, like honestly for like a band that had over half first years, I think we honestly did pretty well. Um, you know, there could have been some improvements. You know, some of the decisions made were a bit wacky, but honestly having the Danny as the announcer for the home comp, that was pretty awesome. Thank you, we'll be in touch. Thank you, you two. Very interesting interview. And also the, the head tubist of the marching band also happened to be in that interview. That's pretty cool. You know, I, I heard he's uh, I heard he's pretty good at tuba. <sighs> and it was an interesting season. You know, I'm gonna miss a lot of the people that are gonna be gone this season because it was it was very impactful. The, the seniors this year are graduating and they are the last people that marched with me in my first show. There was not a single eighth grader that joined my eighth grade year beside, of course, me. And no one else will know the Bill Dungs Ramon show. And of course, they went through the same thing every year. People that they marched with are gone. And now my time has come. Because next year, I will be the only person with, with four years of prior experience. And even the other seniors that are going to be there next year, all of them have one. Shredder has two. Rishi. Rishi is Shredder. Marching band yeah, review. Like How, where, where are we going right now? Tom Zerver. You have to speak up. Tom Zerver. Speak up. Tom Zerver. Okay. Uh, How is the season so far? Good. Why? Because if you were to rate the season out of 10, what would you rate it? 9.9. Brianna has like the first year, you know, all the seniors are going to be so inexperienced compared to me. And, you know, that makes me sad because so few of them marched with me. One of them marched with me in my freshman year, but then weren't there last year. So does that even count? Like, it's a shame because it truly is astounding how... Time is fleeting. How madness takes its toll. But listen closely. Not for very much longer. I've got to keep control. It's astounding. Time is fleeting. Madness takes its toll. Let's cut to one of the other people that were in that year. Finn. Thank you, Marching Band Review! Yo, where are we going right now? We're going to Tom's River for States! Oh my god! Why are you like zooming in? I can see the girl. Are you, are you ready? Readier than I'll ever be. Are you worried that now this is the first time that we've got to states in your entire career and you might fail and you might get us last place if you fail? So you cannot fail because you're so much. I'm not going to fail because I'm VIP superstar in Nunes. Of course, of course. That was a trick question. Exactly. So. Okay. So how do you like the season so far? Honestly. This season's been pretty hashtag slime. Okay. How would you rate the new uniforms for the marching band? I would rate them at 8.5. How would do you how do you like the guard uniforms? I would rate them also an 8.5. I wish they were tucked in. Okay. If you were to change one part about this uniform, I mean this season, what would you do? Um I would have liked to get like the weapon stuff sooner and have more time on rifle. Okay. And my final question. Why do you look like that? But are like absolutely amazing, and you literally have like ten different like giant enormous pimples. Uh, I meant like a zombie. Oh, because of the show. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Now, something that we do a lot after competitions is that we go to to the Rainforest Cafe, and I'm gonna miss that. Going to the Rainforest Cafe after marching band. It's gonna be a shame, honestly, because I had a lot of fun doing that. You know, in past years, I was happy and excited you know, of how good of a season it was. But now everyone's just gone, you know? And it really makes me think, what's left? 
well, they were the friends that we made along the way. If I were to rate the marching band community, I would rate it a 10 out of 10. Because there may have been many issues with the band, but overall, everyone helped each other. And they truly made me feel part of the community. Everyone was playing together as one band. And even though there were all these new people, we still played well and together. And that made my year, honestly. If I were to review the show, it was an undead show. Essentially, it was uh, undead, like zombies. The, uh, the midnight hour is close at hand. I forgot the rest. But, you know, it was, it was a nice show. I had a lot of fun doing it. And, you know, learning every new show, you know, at the beginning, it seems overwhelming. But then you just remember it. And it's really fun. I really, like, um, I got a trio part in the one show, uh, or in the one song, in the first song. It was me, more and Zach. And um, I went, ba 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 And then she went, ba 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 And then he went, ba 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 And then, it was, it was honestly a really fun trio part. It, and I'm happy for it. The only reason I probably got it was because no one else tried out for it, besides us three. Chris wanted to, but didn't have the music for it, so he straight up couldn't. If he did try out, I probably wouldn't have gotten a trio part because he's way more skilled than me in like every way. And you know, even though I wasn't the one up there in yeah. Sally's song, I still had fun playing the, playing the music. It was nice. So if I were to rate the show, honestly, like, I'd rate an eight, eight out of 10. You know, we did what we could with the budget, with the capabilities of our people. And, you know, yeah. like, it, what, like budget-wise, it wasn't as good as West Milford's where they had giant pillars and gates. And, yeah, we only had, like, pallet wood uh, tombstones. But still, it was really good for what we had. And, honestly, I had a good time. 8 out of 10, honestly. I liked it a lot. And you know who else liked it a lot? Papa Roberts. He, here's what he had to think about it. Marching band review. Okay, so what did you think of the season? It was awesome. And the states was good. The placement was great. The band was great. Had a good time. That's awesome to hear. So you were at every single performance what did you think? I might have missed one, but yeah, every single performance. Wow. Which one was the best one? The best one, I think, was... I don't want to say all of them, but yeah, pretty much all of them. They were all really good. What was your favorite part of the season? Uh, uh, the tubas. The tubas were fantastic. That's great to hear. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, he was at every football game. And honestly, the football games were really fun. I, I had a good time playing the music. You know, originally when I was an eighth grader, not many people talked to me. And I had bad times at football games. That's why I now try to be the best I can be to all the eighth graders. Because, you know... Thinking about it, when I was in um, when I was in eighth grade, Lucas would always help me throw my music. He was the other tuba player at the time, and he was one of few people who would talk to me a bunch. And I really appreciated that. And I try to bring that enjoyment to the new eighth graders, because I don't want them to have the same eighth grade year I did. Of course, there are other eighth graders in the band now and not only one, like when I was in it. But I still try to make it enjoyable. And I take pride in what I do in making it the most enjoyable time possible.
Now, before I talk about the bad things, let's, let's go talk about some of these eighth graders. And by talk, I mean see what they talk about. I'm not going to talk about them. Well, I mean, I already talked about them, but I'm not going to like gossip around about them. You know, that'd be kind of mean if I gossiped about the eighth graders. Like, these eighth graders stink. That, that was a little loud. I'm recording this really late. I probably shouldn't have done that. Well, let's get to the interviews. Watching that view. How do you like, how do you like the show? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Okay, Chris, I actually cut off your last part, so continue speaking. Um, yeah, it, it's pretty high. If you were to rate the season out of 10, what would you rate it? 10. 10? Yes. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Watch We're headed to states in Tom's River. How do you feel about the season so far? I feel really good about it. Marching band review. Um, it's pretty good. How's my hair? Is it alright? Oh, oh, we're recording. Oh, hi. So there was an assortment of eighth graders. Of course, I have to cut the videos a little bit short because of you know timing reasons. Um, I'm trying not to make this an hour long. So let's talk about the bad things. I'd say we as a band had a pretty common consensus among opinions. You know, I'd say I, I was pretty good at um, agreeing with everyone and everyone agreed with me. So I ran for assistant drum major and I didn't get it. I had three years of prior experience. This was my fourth year. And the other person, the other senior that was running did not want it. You know, even if he won, I would have been happy because I would have known it was given to someone who was a core part of the marching band. I would have been happy with that. As, he ha as it was going to be his fifth year. Rather, the choice of assistant drum major was given to someone who was never in the marching band. And again, I will state, I am not talking about his character, but to rather the choice that was made to choose someone who's never been in the marching band before. I feel that it doesn't make sense to be able to have someone as the leader that has never been part of the community. You know, and, and it showed too. It showed, honestly. You know that divide that I was talking about? There was a huge divide with everyone on one side and then three not included in the everyone on this side. And then the staff also on this side. No one agreed with the decision that was made. It was a little silly. Um, and you know, what, what was the worst part? Was that like one of the staff members literally said the reason I didn't get it was because it was a goofball verbatim and I don't think that's such a good reason what how do I even prove that I can be that serious when I'm not in that position it's simply a bit of a goofball decision you see it's funny because I because I use the word that they use to describe me to describe them and you know what yeah I'm a bit of a goofball but that doesn't mean I can't be serious. You know, the principal literally has me as part of the board of ed. You know, it is just a student rep, but I represent the entire school. If the principal thinks I can represent an entire school, you'd think I can represent a marching band of which I am a core member of, of which I have devoted so many hours and days worth of my time into as one of the best players in the band. Of course, it's not hard to do when I am like, get next or gonna be the only person with full years of experience. <sighs> but, you know, I, I don't agree with the decision. All right, guys. This is your mom. Marching band review. Very surprised that we even got this far. Like. Know, or it's guaranteed. No, I know, but like, I'm surprised that like I actually made it this far in life. What are you? What am I? Yeah. Your mom. And rate it out of ten. 
Eleven. Eleven? Yeah. I don't care where we play. Yeah. If you are good, you just have to. Off Marching band review. You're supposed to clap it. Oh. Marching band. Are you new or something? Okay. So Max, if you were to rate this season, right. what would you rate it? Solid eight out of ten. Man, that was a good interview. I honestly don't know what I put there. I just I just needed a break. Uh so what's next? We got new uniforms. If I had to rate the uniforms, I'd have to give five out of ten. I'm truly indifferent with the uniforms because actually no, I'm negative about them. The old uniforms were so much better. I don't like this modernist printed on like uniform. I like the old ones where they had texture, where they had craftsmanship. Like the hats themselves, they're literally, the whole point is that you can replace the, the coating and like put a new one on. Even other marching bands didn't like our uniforms. And they, they didn't go up to us and be like, your uniforms suck. I asked them, genuinely. And they were like, uh, they're not as great as before. And I agree with them. Our old uniforms were so much more fun. And I just don't like the printed on uniforms. I'm thankful that we have uniforms and that we got the money. Thank you to the person who donated them. Don't get me wrong. But the director's choice in the uniform that we got was bad. The, cho the choice of what we got, not good. I actually would have preferred to stay with the old ones. Printed on uniforms like this. The only upside is that it's washable. Which has its caveats because it has so many instructions on how to wash it. But overall, the only upside is that it's washable. Be wary, all ye who enter, come hearken to my song. For you are walking down this path, you might not be here for long. Marching and review. All right, so who are you? I'm Andres Velasquez. What marching band are you from? I'm from the Westwood Regional High School Marching Band. How was the season? If you had one takeaway from this season, what would it be? You ever want to bust a move? You ever want to dance? This season had a lot of dancing. We had Thriller, and then of course also, a weekly tradition at football games was Rocket Ship. Here's what that looked like. <laughs> I look back at this and realize how bad of a dancer I was, oh my god. Even though the year had extremely bad parts to it, I would still say it was better than last year. I had a nice time marching with everyone. The band was really close together. We were all one. I'd say... I had a nice time marching with everyone. And even though the, the negatives brought it down 25 steps, the positives in the band brought it up 100. And I truly am going to miss everyone that's leaving.
and I truly am sad that the season is over. I would not march with anyone else. And to anyone from the marching band that's watching, what I'm thankful for is I'm thankful for marching with you. If I had to rate this season, I would rate this season a nine out of 10. It was truly a great season. Bad things happen, terrible things happen, and we all know what happened. But we all know what happened in the good ways too. There were so many good things. I had so much fun. Thank you all. Marching Band Review. Marching Band Review! Marching Band Marching band review. 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 Marching Band Review! 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 This was a fantastic season.